All right, so now we're going to look at this problem where we're going to create a supply function. So when the price for a bushel of wheat is 32 cents, the daily supply is 324 bushels, and the daily demand is 502 bushels. If the price is raised to 76 cents per bushel, the daily supply goes up to 544 bushels, and the daily demand drops to 414 bushels. So what we're going to do is, we've already created a function for the price with respect to the quantity demanded. Now we're going to do the same thing for the price with respect to the quantity supplied. So we're going to create two ordered pairs with the quantity supplied as the x values or the initial components and the price for that quantity as the second component. So for instance, the supply is 30 or 324 bushels at a price of 32 cents. So that's 324 bushels at a price of 32 cents, where this is the quantity uh, supplied and this is the price. And uh, again, the other information is that if the price is 76 cents, then the daily supply is 544. So that's going to be 544 for the daily supply or the quantity supplied and 76 cents for the pr price. So I need to find the slope. I need to find a slope because this is going to be a linear supply function. So the slope is going to be uh, the second price minus the first price divided by the second supply quantity minus the first supply quantity. And when we do this, this results in the numbers 0 0.002. So my slope is 0 0.002. Once I have the slope, I'm going to come up with my equation with point slope form. So I'm going to do this. It's going to be the variable price minus the initial price equals the slope times the variable quantity minus the initial quantity. So plugging all that in, P is the variable price. Uh, and then P1 is the initial price, which is 0 0.32 here. The slope is 0 0.002, and that's going to be times the variable quantity uh, supplied minus the initial quantity supplied, which is uh, 324. 324. So then I get this equation with P and Q as my unknowns, and I can put it in slope-intercept form by solving for P. So I would distribute. I would distribute and I would get that this is uh, 0.002q and then it's going to be minus 0.648 and that's going to be equal to p minus 0.32. And then lastly, to get the equation, I just add 0.32 to both sides, 0.32 to both sides. And I'll get my equation to be P equals 0.002Q minus 0.328. And this is the equation I'm looking for.